Alright people, welcome back to another Zombies video, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to apply custom camos on a, any gun you want in uh, Black Ops 3 mod tools. So let's get right into this here. So what, what do you want to do? Oh, before I even get started, can you guys please leave a like and subscribe? I know you guys hate hearing that shit, but you just please do it. It'll help everyone out, help me out, you know. Alright, cool. But what you want to do is go into Ape here. Where is it? When you go into the launcher, click Ape, and it'll open up this window and shit. So what you want to do... Because if you don't have one yet, you want to do File, and then New GDT, and name it whatever you want. I'll save it in the Black Ops 3 uh, source data thing here. Literally name it whatever you want. I'm not going to do it because I already have one I'm going to show you guys. But save it, and it'll come up, and it'll be here, except you'll see, like, nothing. It'll be like this. But I have a bunch in here already. But what do you want to do is you want to go to New Textures, or whatever you named it. Right-click, and make a new asset. This, you can name it whatever you want, literally just this bar, you can name it like blowjob69, I don't give a shit. But go to asset type, you want to change it to image, and save it as whatever name you did under your GDT file. So do that, I'm not going to do it because I already have a bunch I'm going to show you. you want to do that, then you also want to right click again, create a new material. And then you want to name it, this can also be whatever you want, but I would name it the same thing as the other one you just named it, just so it's consistent. So save that. And then you'll get this. You'll get an image, and then you'll get one of these, which is a, uh, what's it? It's a texture. And it's, now, it's not showing up here because it's 2D, and it's using, like, a texture down here. But what you want to do is you want to go to your image that you selected. So it's image type. And here, it's going to be blank. It's going to look like this, right? So you, what you want to do is you want to go in here, and you want to go to your Black Ops 3 folder. You want to go to your texture assets. And wherever you saved your textures, remember that's be .tiff files, I think. I think if you use a PNG, it doesn't work. But yeah, if you go into your, uh, wherever you're saving your images you want to add to the guns, literally just click any of the images you have, right? And then it'll go on to here. So once it's in here, what you want to do is make sure it says diffuse map. So go down here, this drop down, diffuse map, uncompressed, texture, and then literally just look at all these. And this could be whatever, like let's say you want it like, like bigger one to one and you go click on a different one of this it'll make it giant but you don't really want to do that so i'm going to put it back to half size so it's normal so what you want to do is make sure normalize channels is enabled and map because if you don't have these enabled look what happens you go back to click it oh wait actually is streamable have to be off to anyway just do this just in case because i think if i save it oh it, this usually doesn't appear here i don't know why it's doing that make sure these two are clicked and streamable and you should be good yeah i don't think you need to click anything else in here this should be it for this but when you now what you need to do is go down to wherever whatever material you made literally it's whatever you called it and you want to make sure it says 2d in this list 2d blend and the service type could be anything i just like using ice so it makes it more shiny and you go to your color map and literally this is gonna be the name of whatever image is up here so if i go click this thing here like if i t start typing in like hammer oh Wait, is that even what's... Yeah. Well, anyway, it's like in this list here. So if, as long as you have a name that's the same as up here, it should appear in this uh, list you have. Okay, there. It's back. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck just happened? And the color map should link with one of these images that you made, whatever, like the Soviet symbol or whatever the fuck. And it should load in like that. So once you have your image set up, like the image up here and your material set up correctly... Then what you want to do is go find your gun, right? So make, remember to click File, Save All. Now your GDT is going to be whatever the gun name is called. So let's go in here. So you want to go to your Call of Duty source data, whatever, and find whatever gun you want. And you're gonna let's take the uh, where is it? Uh, fuck. I'll, if, if you also know what it's called, you can just search it up. So I'm gonna do MP5. So which one do I want? T, is this the right one? T5 MP5? Is that what I'm looking for? Let me give it a second. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be changing the MP5 here to the, from this red, like, shiny thing to whatever one we just showed you. But what you, what you want to do is find, like, this is going to be at the GDT, the MP5. Go to whatever material you want to change. Like, let's see. Okay, this is the one I want to change. That's all, like, shiny and shit. So let's say, now you want to change, now, if you want it to stay shiny like this, you'll use advanced. But we, what you want to do is go to geometry, and then lit emissive scroll that's what i use that's what i've been using that's always worked so that's what i'm going to use now for the emissive map you want to change it to whatever image name you made so we're going to do like alien for me that's the one i made so it's going to look it's going to take the texture you just made and you want to do click use gameplay intensity this will actually put it on the actual gun itself 
So I'm gonna actually change the color here. Now you have to change one of these numbers for it to take apply for whatever reason. So now you can change it to like whatever color. See how the aliens like changing colors and shit though. So I'm gonna put it at pink, cause why the fuck not? Now, HDR scale, that's gonna be like how bright it is. If I change it to 20, it's gonna be like super fucking bright. But if I change it to one, it's gonna be like dull as shit. So we're gonna leave it at 10. Now, fall off. So if you put like eight here, this is gonna make like inclusive. You see how it like goes in a little bit when that happens when I press control Z, it'll go back. But you can use that if you want, but I, I usually don't use it because it like takes the color out in game, but anyway. Now, if you clicked use as camo, this will override the pack-a-punch camo, and this will be on the gun no matter what, if you pack a punch or not. So if you want that, you can unclick it. If you don't, you can just, you, you know, do whatever. Now, depth, if you change this to like 2, it's going to go like really insane. You, you, I wouldn't suggest doing this because this is like seizure inducing and shit, especially if you do like scroll like 0.1, or no, like 2. Yeah, that could get really seizure inducing, so don't, don't do that. We're just going to leave that at 0.1. Now, scroll, I just sold, showed you, you could change it to literally whatever, and it'll scroll texture on your gun. I'll show you the gun right now, so you, so you know I'm not fucking lying to you. See, look, now, actually, let's change it to nighttime. Boom. Well, I know it looks like shit right now, but I'm just showing you that it does apply in-game. So if you go back up here to your texture or whatever. Now, you could do, like, scale, you could do two by two, and it'll make it, like, see, look, this should fix it, right? Well, not really, <laughs> but you get the point. Like, it'll put it on the gun as, no matter what, like, it is, so it won't glitch out. Now, what you want to do is, if you don't want it, like, really weird looking, you can do depth and put it at zero. And this will, like, make it normal, so it won't look, like, watery and shit. See, look, that looks a bit better, since it's not really watery. But what I usually do is I leave the scroll off, so I put zero and zero. So now, when you go back to the MP5... It actually is flashing, it actually looks pretty nice, honestly. Just like that with the alien camo on. But to make it look even better, what you could do, you go to flicker harshness and do it to like 10. But before you do that, because now it looks like it gives you a fucking seizure, what you want to do is 0 point whatever, so make sure it's not fast. So now it's like decently fast and not like dumb. So now if you're back to the MP5. Now look, it looks like it's flickering on the gun, it actually looks pretty nice, honestly. But anything else in here that should be worth noting about? Okay, color map. Now you see how the background of this gun has like the texture still on it? If you want it like nothing, just do black transparent and then it changes it to like a glossy look. Do it that for both things here. Or base detail and look, it changes it to like no texture at all, just a plain black box. But I'm gonna control Z that because I actually want the, uh, actually we'll leave the black transparent on here because that looks a bit better. But yeah, the MP5 should, yeah, it looks pretty good right now, man. But uh, yeah, we go back to here. Is there anything else worth noting for the camos? Um, not really. I mean, you can mess with all the settings in here. Like if you clamp this shit, it'll look really weird. It'll give you like a hexagon type look. Uh, click that, clamp U. See, it gives you like a, like a stripe look if you want it on the gun. Go back down here, but it doesn't really look right because it looks weird as fuck. So I wouldn't really do that, but if you guys want to, you could, like, mess around with any of the settings in here. But, uh, yeah, that should be it for the camos. I mean, you don't, like, hold on, let me press save here. You don't really need to, like, mess with a lot of shit. You, as long as you can know what you're doing and go through it, it should work for you. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in-game now and show you guys that this actually works and I'm not fucking trolling you. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, people, we're back here in-game. About to give myself the gun I just did. But, uh, yeah, this should work first try. I haven't even... Right, let's pause this. So we're gonna give ourselves the T... I think it was called T5 underscore MP5K. Oh, there we go. And we have the camo that we had perfectly working, like I have on the zombies here. See, that worked on the zombies as well. But, uh, yeah, look, it's working perfectly on the MP5, nothing's wrong. I mean, almost nothing, I mean, this this map's pretty wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, look, the, um, camo works perfectly fine, and nothing else is wrong with the gun, as I could see. Oh, what the fuck? Let me that back. But, uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, made it this far, and you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please like, subscribe, and I will, uh, see you in the next one.